What's up, guys? Welcome to another epic episode of J Philly Retro Toys. Guys, man, it feels like it's been forever since I made a video. <laughs> and it feels like it's been forever since I've been in a thrift store. Guys, we're going to start things out today at uh, Goodwill in Collegeville Trap. I think we're going to do the thrift store Collegeville circuit today. Uh, it's been a while since I've done all three of those stores in one video. Uh, but uh, it's Saturday morning. I'm... Uh, probably 90% over the crud that I've had, that my family's had. And uh, I'm ready to get back into some, to some thrift stores, man. Let's go see what they got in here. Okay, guys, we're gonna start off looking at the toys. If you remember, they put the toys up on the tops of these racks because I turned that back wall into a, uh, a full DVD wall back there so we're gonna look at these toys i don't see anything down here on the floor that i need i don't think eh not really so uh yeah let's look up here and see what we can find i think this first one is mostly just plushes like some uh, there's a doll what is that that's a weird it's stuck <laughs> There we go. That's a weird looking dog. Oh, it's glasses. <laughs> I thought that was his eyeballs. And again, this one has more plush as well. Uh, that's a crazy looking thing. Uh, I don't see any plush really that I'm looking to pick up today. Unless they have something really cool and really vintage. It's like a bag full of Beanie Babies. Yeah. Uh, there's a banana. <laughs> hey, that guy looks cool. That guy's sparkly. Look at that. A little dragon. <laughs> um, yeah, not seeing too much in this bin. Here, this is all baby stuff. There's a Barney. Yay. Yeah, this is all just... Oh, there's a Donkey Kong. That's cool. Yeah, maybe I'll have to check through here. Be sure. Yeah, I don't really see too much in here. An Iron Man, or a, uh, not Iron Man, what is this called? Um, you know, the big Iron Man thing. Shoot, I can't remember. Whatever it's called. Uh, what's this? Dolls, Barbies. Uh, we got Hulk driving a car. Uh, interesting. Got some dino hands, raptor claws, or whatever they are. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, not really seeing too much in the uh, the toy bins here today, guys. It's kind of weird because it's Saturday morning. I would think they would have toys here for kids to look at. What's this? It's a remote control helicopter. It's kind of cool. You. Let's go over on the other side. I thought I saw something over on this side, but it was just this wristband Captain America thing. Got the Paw Patrol truck. A couple of their little cars. And let's go check that last bin over there. I'm not seeing too much over here. They got this boat with a crane. That's probably the coolest thing I've seen so far. Um, let's see what's this. Matchbox cars. Uh, what's this? Oh, some Skylanders. I wonder if these things are worth anything. I know Steven has a bunch of them. Hmm. Six ninety nine though. Yikes. Nah. I'm gonna leave those here. And not much in the toys at all today, guys. Look at this. I found one of these. I think this is one of those Funko things. Those new Funko things they came out with. Um, I'm just kind of looking around here at the, what's that? Koosh Electronic Target Game. Oh my gosh. Let's see, it includes three Koosh Flingers. That's cool, you guys remember these Koosh Balls? This is like a Target, <laughs> it's kind of cool, $4.99. 
guys, we might as well take a look and see what they got as far as uh, games and puzzles go. Here, look at this. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Uno. <laughs> Steven used to have this. I wonder if that's all in there. Um, not really seeing much right offhand. I'll, uh, I'll probably dig a little bit here. Let you guys know if I see anything good. I found this Zombieopoly, a killer game where the fun never dies. It's seven dollars. Uh, it only sells on eBay for about eight to ten dollars in used condition, but uh, it's pretty cool. I like the artwork on the front of it. <laughs> I uh, I do not enjoy Monopoly at all, so probably not going to pick this up. Although Steven might like it, but for seven bucks, I'll probably just leave it here. Well, that's not the way I wanted to start this off. <laughs> El Gordo Busto at the uh, Goodwill, Collegeville. Um, it's getting kind of warm out there. I had to take my jacket off. Didn't really have much in there at all, guys. No, nothing. Um, so we'll uh, we'll head over to probably Worthwhile Thrift next. Um, see what they got in there. All right, we are here. Be good to me, Worthwhile. Guys, just inside the front door here, I'm noticing some cool things in this little area that they have. I saw this. This is pretty freaking awesome. Batman Returns comic. Um, it's uh, from the motion, original comic from the motion picture. They're asking $9.99 for it. I did look it up on eBay, and it only sells for between like $5 and $10. So I could get this probably cheaper than this on eBay. Um... It's tempting to pick this up just because I really like this, but I could probably get it cheaper like anytime I want. Um, I don't know. I'll think about it. This will be just for my own personal collection, but I don't know if I want to spend 10 bucks on that today. Yeah, looks like they've also got some Batman cards and Nintendogs. I'm not sure what that is, but there's some Star Wars cards too in this glass case. I got a bag full of Pogs. <laughs> Uh, and then they got these uh, lunch boxes that they've had for a while. There's that one, and then there's that one. Huh. Yeah, cool stuff. Oh my gosh, guys. I was just looking through the DVDs here. Didn't really see too much. Started looking through the uh, record albums, and look at this. Look at this. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a blackface guy. <laughs> like, with the paint on his face. I'm pretty sure... Wow, that's, uh, you don't see that very often anymore. The Jolson story. I wonder if I should just get that just to be, just for part of uh, history, you know? I don't want anyone to think I'm a racist, though. I don't know, it's kind of strange, kind of crazy. So guys, just looking through the uh, puzzles and games here real quick, I saw this. I see this quite often, like never in the box though. And most of the time it's missing pieces and stuff. This is perfection, this is definitely old, look at that. It's probably from the 70s. Um, they only want a $1.99 for it. I might pick it up since it's in the box and everything. Now they got a, uh, a Fortnite llama. I think it's not really a Fortnite llama, but a knockoff. <laughs> um, Got an Optimus. Some rubber ducks. A little wind up pug dog. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything interesting today? A Tonka fire truck, that's kind of cool. those are hmm that stuff all in the floor here got a uh, bubble lawnmower up there oh that's cool <laughs> little drum set mr. bucket hmm oh, I do have some bags here let's look in here first what's this Kind of cool, that looks old. Tower 
power force. Huh. Some McDonald's toys. And some potato heads. All right guys, back to the toys. There was a uh, an influx of little kids, <laughs> so I stopped recording. Uh, that's a Shazam figure. That's kind of cool. Um, got some play sets up here. They do have a lot of stuff today, just nothing. Really a poop hat. <laughs> nothing really that I want. I don't think, at least not yet. I'm not finding anything. Oh look, there's a little troll <laughs> for $1.99. Uh, hmm. Let's see, anything in there? Uh, it's just McDonald's toys. Oh look, they got a uh, toothless um, How to Train Your Dragon. That's kind of cool. Steven used to really love these. $2.99. It's kind of cool. And they got a giant unicorn, a bird in a cage. <laughs> um, just some junk, really. There's a Woody. Uh, let's see. Some bags. Vintage, I don't think. There's a Captain America. Looks like a couple Hello Kitties. Oh, look at this. Wait, what is this? Wow, look at that. It's a whole lot of Smurfs in there. This looks like mostly the newer ones, though. Yeah, those are all the newer Smurfs. I don't really see. Like a Smurf Village. But again, that's definitely not the vintage Smurf Village. Yeah, oh look, there's, a, there's an older one. So there's maybe a couple, like 80s Smurfs in there, but I think these are all mostly, holy crap, $16.99. Wow. I mean, if that was full of vintage Smurfs and vintage Smurf houses, yeah, I would definitely pick that up for $16.99. But, uh, nah. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, let's see, what's this? The big giant squid or something? Uh, die cast. Eh, not seeing anything, guys, really. Who's this? Huh. It's a three and three quarter inch figure. I'm not sure who it is though. Huh. Yeah, not really seeing much at all. Yeah, the only thing I'm seeing over in the plush bins is this R2D2. That's pretty cool. It's like just like a pillow. R2D2 is my favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> How much do they want for that? Five bucks. Yikes. Man. I don't know. It's cool though. All right, guys. So that was worthwhile thrift in Collegeville. Um, they had some decent stuff in there today. Uh, that Batman comic book that we saw first thing when we walked through the door, that was cool. Um, I probably would have picked it up if it would have been a little bit cheaper, $4.99, $5.99 maybe. Uh, but for 10 bucks, I can get it for 10 bucks anytime on eBay. Um, I was tempted to get that, but uh, just didn't feel like spending 10 bucks on that today. I did pick up one thing, however. <laughs> I picked up the R2 pillow. How cool is that? I'm a sucker for R2D2. I uh, just can't can't pass them up. And uh, that was a nice pillow, no stains, no tears, no holes. So that's just something, you know, throw on the couch and uh, relax with, you know. Um, so anyway, we're going to head over to Liberty Thrift now, I think, maybe. Uh, I don't know, my camera is, uh, my phone's almost dead. <laughs> my battery's getting low. So it may be tomorrow where we pick this up. Uh, but wherever it is, 
it'll just be a couple seconds for you guys. All right, guys, final stop of the Collegeville Thrift Store Circuit. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Uh, we're gonna have to do this quick because for some reason my phone is not charging with my car charger. So uh, let's look through the book bins, see what they got inside. Well, guys, I was just digging through the book bins, not seeing too much in here today. Um, you know, a few things, a few things, but not uh, nothing too great except for this Calvin and Hobbes book. I think I'm definitely going to pick that up. I'm a big fan of Calvin and Hobbes. I think I'm going to grab that. Eh, nothing new over here, really, guys. Just uh, all pretty much the same stuff. Uh, they did clear out a few things up top. Um, but yeah, nothing new. Lots of Xbox 360 games and Xbox One in here. Got some Wii games. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything I need, though. Yeah, over here at the toys, guys, they do have this big uh, Spider-Man still. Dollar ninety. Oh no, I thought that was dollar ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Uh, looks like they got a lightsaber there. Um, some Minecraft toys in here. Some ponies. Some dinosaurs. Hmm. Huh. That'd be kind of cool. Don't know if they're Jurassic or not. No, I don't think so. Huh. Um. What's this? Think fun. Huh. Big old puzzle. Huh. Let's see what's down in here. Looks like probably just all the uh, potato heads that's been in here. There's a kind of a beat up Iron Man. Uh, I'm knocking stuff over here, guys. <laughs> Wow, those are heavy. Those are all die cast, I think. Huh. Yeah, I think that's about it over here, guys. All right, guys, sorry about the rush through there. Uh, not a whole lot in there anyway. I'll show you what I got. I did pick up a couple of things. Man, my area is so freaking dry when it comes to vintage toys. I don't know, I'm gonna have to go to like a toy show or something just to get my vintage toy fix man i'm dying to get something good uh let me show you guys what i picked up so as i showed you guys at the book bins i did pick up this calvin and hobbs book um this is my first calvin and hobbs book i've ever owned i think maybe i had i might have had one when i was younger but the first one i have right now the only one i have right now i just love these uh you know these 80s and 90s uh comic strip style books uh, I always have. I've always loved cartoons and stuff like that. Uh, speaking of cartoons, I also picked up the Smurfs DVD. Uh, Smurfs to the Rescue. Got six episodes on there. Um, I didn't really show you guys much of the DVDs or CDs there just because of, you know, battery life. Um, but, uh, yeah, this will be really cool to add to my uh, cartoon VHS and DVD collection. Not a whole lot of uh, toys in there, but, you know, they had some cool stuff. So guys, again, I'm sorry for the uh, the kind of the rushed ending there to the video uh, this episode. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what. I'm going to have to check my phone charger here. Uh, but guys, thank you for coming along with me. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for clicking. Um, thank you for being here, coming on this toy hunting adventure with me today. Didn't find much toys. Man, that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to do something about that next episode, I think. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for being here and, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Please feel free to share my channel. I would really greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Later.